This gorgeous creme brulee tart is everything you love about the classic French dessert, but encased in a buttery tart crust. Silky smooth egg custard topped with a thin and crispy layer of toffee. This dessert is creamy and delicious and will be ready to slice up in no time. Hear that crack as you slice into the toffee? Satisfying, right? Let's begin with the sweet tar crust. To the bowl of a food processor, you're gonna add some flour, powdered sugar, vanilla extract, and you're gonna blitz that to combine everything. Next, you're gonna add some cold butter. I've just cubed mine up just to give it a head start. Once you've blitzed that, you're gonna reach lentil size pieces. That's the size of butter you're looking for. Add your egg yolks, and blitz that until a dough begins to form. Pour that out onto your workbench. Today, I'm gonna to be using a pastry mat to help me bunch my dough into a disc. Wrap your dough disc in some plastic wrap, and this is gonna go in the fridge to chill for one hour. Once it's chilled, dust your workbench with a little bit of flour and start rolling it out. If any cracks begin to form around the edges, just pinch those together. You wanna to roll this out to about 12 to 14 inches. I'm using a nine inch tart tin with a removable bottom, and I've just draped my dough over my rolling pin and then draped it back over the tart tin. Rather than forcing the dough into the bottom of the tart tin, you wanna lift the sides up and gently encourage it to fall in there. If you stretch the dough while you're doing this, it's going to cause it to shrink as it bakes. So try not to stretch it. Once you've got it all in there and it's looking nice and neat, you can actually use your rolling pin to cut off the excess dough. This is a really cool trick and it just results in an evenly cut tart tin shell. Get rid of the excess dough, and today I'm feeling a little bit extra, so I'm going to use a fork to prick some zigzag shapes into the bottom of my tart shell. The little holes that you're creating actually help prevent this from bubbling up as it bakes in the oven. Once you've done that, add some baking paper to your tart shell and then fill it with baking beads, or if you're not rich like me, just use some dried chickpeas. Does the job actually, I think, better than baking beads. This is gonna go in the oven to bake for 15 minutes on 160 degrees Celsius. Then take it out of the oven and lifting up from the corners of the baking paper, gently lift up that baking bead concoction that you've created and this is gonna go back in the oven to bake for a final 10 minutes. It's gonna look perfectly golden and beautiful and this is ready for our filling, which is what we're gonna make next. Before we begin that though, I wanna quickly give you a sneak peek of this week's video on the Scranline Line Every Day, which is my second and brand new YouTube channel, which has all my savory recipes. This week, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to make my delicious tzatziki dip. This is thick and creamy, and I'm gonna show you just how to achieve that. It is so delicious, guys. If you're not subscribed to my second channel, The Scran Line Every Day, I've got a link in the description box below. Click on that and go and subscribe. To a heat-proof jug, you wanna add some milk and some cream. And this is gonna go in the microwave for about three minutes or until it's just below hot. You don't want it warm, but you don't want it boiling hot. Set that aside to cool slightly and to a large mixing bowl, you're gonna add some egg yolks and some eggs. Give that a whisk before you add some brown sugar, vanilla bean paste or vanilla extract and whisk. While you're still whisking, add that slightly hotter than warm milk. This is gonna temper your mixture so that it doesn't actually cook as you're adding in that warmer than warm milk. Run these through a sift into your cooled tart shell. Now see those bubbles that have resulted from us whisking our mixture? 
A little trick that I learned is to actually use a kitchen torch, the same one we're going to be using later for the toffee, to actually gently pop those bubbles with the heat. This is going to go in the oven to bake for 30 to 35 minutes. Once it's baked, take it out of the oven and let it cool down completely. Now that it has cooled, we're going to take it out of the tart tin and place it on our serving plate. I'm going to sprinkle this with some caster sugar, also known as super fine sugar. And using that kitchen torch, we are going to just gently, taking our time, torch that sugar and turn it into a golden masterpiece of thin, crispy toffee. The flavour combination of this tart, that toffee and that silky smooth egg custard is unmatched guys and those vanilla bean specks are so gorgeous if you want to try this recipe it's over on my website thescranline.com link for that is in the description box below or if you're watching on facebook i've left it in the comments section if you like this video hit the like button make sure you subscribe and i have more videos up on screen that you can watch right now thanks so much for spending time with me in my kitchen guys i'll see you all on the next episode of the scranline